Hello and welcome to today's tutorial session on ADS with Kinemark. So today we are going to learn about Wilkinson power divider and how to design it in ADS. But before we start the design, it is um, very important for us to know a little about the power divider and what it does. Right, so a power divider is a three-port microwave device that is used in dividing or combining power. So when we take a look at this figure over here, we can see P3 entering and P1 and P2 going out. So for a power divider to act as a power divider, power from P3 will equally split between P1 and P2. And ideally, if it is acting as a power combiner, the power at P1 and P2 or port 1 and port 2 will combine and appear here at port 3 as a single power. So, so a power divider can be used for combining or dividing power. Power dividers in general have some applications. So we have power dividers being used in power amplifiers where we have power combining multiple input signals can also be used in antenna feedback network also in splitting coherent power we can also apply power dividers in the local oscillators so our main aim today is to look at the Wilkinson power divider and also design it in ADS right so a Wilkinson power divider is a power divider with output ports matched with reflected power dissipated. So when you take a look at this diagram over here, which is the geometry equivalent of the Wilkinson power divider, you can see that we have Z0 at the input, we have Z0, Z0 at the output over here. So it means that the output of this power divider or Wilkinson power divider is matched with the power axis impedance of Z0 here Z not over here and Z not over here. If you take a look at the diagram very well, using this figure over here, we can see that there is a resistor over here. And the main aim of this resistor is to isolate port 2 from port 3 at a center frequency. So if, for example, this is port 2 and this is port 3, this resistor is going to isolate port 2 from port 3. At the center frequency that is the main aim of this resistor so what is the objective of this tutorial we are going to design a worker power divider with lamped element at a frequency of 3 gigahertz so let's see but before we are to create the lamped element model we need to calculate the capacitance and inductance value of the device so these values can be calculated using the formulas here so for capacitor 1 and capacitor 2 this is the formula that you can use for inductor 2 and inductor 3 we are going to use this formula for inductor 1 we are going to use this formula and for the resistor that i talked about earlier we are going to use this formula but note we have ra that is resistor a resistor b and resistor c into 50 ohms so wherever we see r we are going to use 50 ohms and omega is the angular frequency that is 2 pi f where the frequency as i said is 3 gigahertz so after calculation you should have your angular frequency if you multiply 2 by pi times the 3 gigahertz in radians you should have 1.88 times 10 raised to the power 10 in radians so then uh, capacitor values that is c1 and c2 is going to be 0 0.7 picofarad l2 l3 for inductance is going to be 3.75 nano henry l1 inductor 1 is going to be 1.8 nano henry and we will have R1 that is the resistor requiring 100 ohms so these are what we need to design the lambda element model of the Wilkinson power divider so I'm going to design the generic schematic 
of the Wilkinson power divider in ADS. So let's move to ADS. Before you start, always you need to create a workspace in ADS before you can start your design. So from the geometry schematic of the Wilkinson power divider that we saw, we saw that we will have a capacitor one and a capacitor two over here. We are also going to have an inductor. So control R is going to rotate your element like that. We also need a resistor as you saw 